So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, uh, you missed some fantastic music. Uh, you missed a spiritual so beautifully done by our choir. Uh, it, it, well, it, it would be the highlight of the service, except that it has to share that honor uh, with uh, a version of Day by Day that uh, the youth and children of our Something New program uh, created. Uh, Etienne Lesage arranged. Uh, he and Janine worked with them for the last couple, three weeks, and suddenly we had this band with trumpets and trombone and flute and, and voices and percussion and piano and, and, and people dancing in the aisle. And, and, and we, and they, wow, day by day from God's spell, it, it was fantastic. It, um, and we've posted it as a, as a YouTube video too, and it, and it just doesn't do it justice because the energy that it, it created that was carried through the service was, well, it, it was, it was welcoming. It was, it was what the kingdom of God sounds like and, and feels like. And then of course we did the regular church things too. We, we, we read from Corinthians and we heard about Paul telling us, what we can eat and what we shouldn't eat and why it's okay to eat food from idols, but why maybe we don't for others. And so we, we spent a little time thinking about how our practices and faith affect others. And we heard the passage from, from Mark's gospel of a, of a man possessed. What have you to do with me, Jesus? What have you to do with us? And Jesus driving the unclean spirit out. And so we, we wondered a little bit today about about possession and, and, and exorcism and what does it mean what is an exorcism is that something we believe in anymore and just because it's not in our experience how do we talk about it and we recognize within the story it's not really a hollywood style exorcism heads don't spin around it's not dramatic it's somebody at temple essentially in church saying what have you to do with me jesus and Jesus recognizes his unclean spirit. And, and so I imagined today that Jesus arrived in church, a church not unlike ours. And upon recognizing him, we wondered, what have you to do with us, Jesus? And Jesus asked people in the congregation, asked individuals, asked us, what do you think about when you go to sleep at night? What do you think about when you wake up in the morning? What do you think about as you drive to work? And as we imagine the responses, those who worry about work or those who worry about being the best parent or measuring up, those who worry about fitting in, those who, who feel the weight of the world on their shoulders, I began to imagine that perhaps that's the possession that Jesus confronts in the temple that day. And perhaps we are all, or at least many of us, possessed and I imagine the invitation from Jesus that we become possessed by something else, something other than not being good enough, not being the best parent, not being the best employee, the best wife, the best husband, not worrying about those things, not letting those things possess us anymore, but instead being possessed by, by God by the love of God, recognizing that in Jesus there is the divine and the human together as one. And how can we ever worry about measuring up? How can we be possessed by anything else when we are at one with God? And so the exorcism that we envisioned today was to be possessed by God instead of by those spirits, those voices that tell us we're not good enough that keep us driving for things that we don't necessarily want, but, well, but possess us. Of course, the challenge is not just inviting Jesus in, not just inviting God in, but also letting go of those things that possess us. So maybe the story isn't that strange after all. And maybe we moderate moderns, maybe we need to consider possession an exorcism a little more seriously. It's not a movie. It's recognizing that we are loved by God and that that love can define us. That we are one with God through Jesus 
and that oneness with God can define us, possess us, instead of all that other stuff that just leaves us hungry and empty. Anyway, that's what we discussed. That's what we shared today at Jubilee, and I'm sorry you missed it. I really hope that we get to see you soon and uh, that we get a chance to soon possess each other, soon get to define ourselves by our relationship to each other. I guess what I'm saying is I hope we get to see you soon because it matters when we get to see you. It matters when you're here. Until we get to see you, God bless.